the cloud is the biggest transformation to security in three important ways. Development teams are now building in the cloud faster and more decentralized than ever before. As a result, the environments are highly dynamic with resources constantly being created, updated and deleted. This dynamic nature of the cloud makes it more challenging to keep track of and secure all resources across cloud and architectures. Decentralized teams are also bringing in countless technologies that improve their efficiency. As a result, security teams must increasingly cover a multi-cloud, multi-architecture and constantly changing surface area. Just recently occurred log for shell crisis demonstrates the difficulty for teams to evenly identify where they may have exposure across an increasingly complex and dynamic environment. Then you have to take care of risks. Cloud environments are now shared and controlled by third party providers. With public cloud, these environments are by default on the internet or can be easily exposed to the internet with a single configuration. While exposure can happen simply, the underlying risk factors can be difficult to spot. Verizon's annual report routinely cites complex intrusion attacks that combine two or more risk factors as a most common attack vector for data breaches. This become even more difficult to monitor for and protect in today's landscape with the unprecedented velocity and scale of attacks and that an exposure can be exploited to become a breach in a matter of hours. Consistently exposed databases are one of the top breaches that we read about in the news, underscoring the difficulty in securing an organization's crown jewels. Then you have to take into account the ownership model, which is completely different in the cloud. Development teams own their infrastructure and each team chooses and deploys their own technologies. Centralized architectural choices can quickly become obsolete if they're not approved or adopted by decentralized teams. The people, processes and technology in an organization also face challenges in the light of new environment and new risks. Many organizations will need to adopt their security practices and redefine traditional security approaches and processes that are not well suited for the cloud environment. There will need to be a concerted focus on education as an increasing number of cloud teams are building the cloud, often time lack cloud security expertise. Security teams themselves need to learn the security risk of the cloud and implement new security processes and technologies to protect their resources. Many organizations find themselves in need of experts with deep domain expertise by cloud architecture or risk factor. Finally, teams will need to reconsider their tooling as many legacy technologies amplify overall cloud challenges with siloed views of the cloud environment and risks. Now, the thing is that in order to extend cloud security responsibility, responsibilities to the development teams, a modern cloud security workflow need to have these three important principles which starts with full stack visibility. So you must initiate the foundation of visibility across your entire cloud environment for everyone involved in building and secure, securing the cloud. The visibility needs always be up to date with disruption to the business or relying on developers to deploy agents. It must also be very easy to understand without requiring deep domain expertise. Then we have proactive security and security must be on the forefront to eliminate risks before they become breaches. This requires pinpoint accuracy to reduce noise and to focus teams on the highest priority issues. By prioritizing the most critical issues, security can build trust with development teams and ensure that developers time is spent wisely in streamlining security as part of the development process. Lastly, in order to scale and operate efficiently across teams, cloud security must be tightly integrated into, into the technology stack, organizational structure and development pipeline. This enables organizations to route issues directly to the teams that own them using the automation tool that their teams are already familiar with. This enables self-service to rapidly understand and remediate issues. So I hope that this was useful. If you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section. Thanks for listening.